Hey, what's up, everybody? And thank you so much for tuning in to Young and Excellent. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and wouldn't you know that Santa's probably up there with his little elves and his cookie business enjoying his reindeer because it is definitely the holiday season. But I do think that Santa kind of needs some time to retire. We've been celebrating Santa for a very, very long time, and I think with today's new technology, we can come up with something even better, a bigger icon for the holidays that is just, you know, a little bit more spicy. So I, you know, decided to ask my friend ChatGPT to come up with some alternatives for the magical man named Santa. And here you go. Uh, this is ChatGPT's way to phrase it. If you're looking for magical creatures to replace Santa Claus in a festive and whimsical way, here are some imaginative options. One, Yule Lads. It's an Icelandic tradition. There are a group of 13 mischievous characters known as Yule Lads who are said to visit children in the 13 nights leading up to Christmas. Iceland is on something. That's wild. Also, I want a shirt that says Yule Lad. That's what I want. <laughs> Number two. Yule fairies. Uh, each fairy could be responsible for a different aspect of the holiday, such as joy, laughter, or kindness. That's actually pretty cute. Number three, winter wizards. <laughs> Just like reminds me of like uh, Wizards of Waverly Place, to be honest. <laughs> Picture wise and ancient wizards who travel in enchanted sleighs pulled by mystical creatures. They would use their magical powers to bring gifts and enchantments to households during the winter season. Very interesting. Number four, starlight stags. I always want to read it as slag, and I can't, <laughs> I can't read it as that. <laughs> but slag would be hilarious. Uh, so majestic celestial reindeer-like creatures that roam the night sky, bringing gifts and wonder to children. And they harness the power of the stars to guide them on their magical journey. I feel like this is so much better than Santa. No offense. Uh, number five, frost dragons. Friendly dragons that breathe icy breath instead of fire. Gil, gl gliding? <laughs> Just gliding, that's all it is. Gliding through the night skies to deliver presents. Their scales shimmer with the colors of northern lights. You know what? That actually could be a good children's book. Uh, number six, snow sprites. Playful and ethereal. I think that's a word, right? Ethereal? ethereal. You know what? ChatGPT is too advanced for me. <laughs> Um, beings made entirely of snowflakes. They come alive during the winter season, dancing through the air and leaving behind small gifts and surprises for presents. Oh, surprises for children, not presents. I want a present. Number seven, the holiday phoenix. A mythical bird that is reborn each holiday season. Does that mean we have to burn it? Like, <laughs> every time it's done? Oh God, it's like a seance. Um, spreading warmth, light, and good fortune. It leaves behind small embers that turn into gifts. That's magical. That's some like Game of Thrones shit. Uh, number eight, jingle gnomes. This one disturbs me. Uh, tiny gnomes adored with bells to sneak into homes sneak into homes to spread holiday cheer. They leave behind tinkling bells and small magical trinkets. How kind. Number nine, and this is my vote, this is my vote entirely, enchanted polar bears, and just bear with me, imaginary polar bears with coats that shimmer with enchantment, and they travel from the North Pole to deliver gifts, bringing a touch of Arctic magic into the holiday season. Now, all I have to say is if we're gonna go along with Santa, which, you know, Coca-Cola loves a good Santa, you know what Coca-Cola also loves? Polar bears. You wouldn't have to change any merch, nothing. Number 10. Sugar Plum Fairies. I feel like we all know what this is. Nutcracker brought this to life. I don't need to explain it. ChatGPT, boring. Uh, 11, candy cane unicorns. Elegant unicorns with coats that resemble candy canes. Uh, they prance through the snow, leaving behind a trail of magical glitter, so basically they're shit, and delivering gifts with their sparkling horns. Now, all of those are great suggestions. Again, my vote is on Enchanted Polar Bears. I understand that kids may be watching this too, and I want you to know that Santa will always be here. Santa will always have our back, but he does need a year off. So, my vote's on Enchanted Polar Bears, and I hope that all of you cast your vote down below. Let me know what you'd like to see this holiday season, as Santa could retire, just for a year, and then he can come back. And there you have it. So, let us just vote on what we want to be this holiday, what did I say? Let us know what you would like to come down the chimney this festive season. And remember, happy holidays.